Now, in the calm of my Albert de Sousa guest room, I prepare for my next interview with Eddie. So I review my last segment, uh, you know, the dark year of fugitive. Uh, well, what happened was this. Uh, Eddie came back to Europe on the hashish trail, laden with primo hashish from Nepal, India, Pakistan, Afghanistan. Uh, he was proud of his hashish stash, yeah. And, uh, <laughs> yeah. He loved when people went kind of like comatose, you know. So sound, uh, a testament to the potency of this cancer. Hashish. Eddie, a natural born storyteller, represents the Roundup Theater. <laughs> For his younger brothers and sisters, always the storyteller. And now he's got a rich repertoire of oriental tales to share amidst the swirling hashish mouth. Well, what went wrong for Eddie? Look, uh, what went wrong for hundreds of thousands of countercultural characters in Europe, America in the 60s? We got busted for sharing with our friends a spice of life. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I mean, and, and after you've been to India, you realize these spices have been used for millennia uh, in temples uh, to uh, glorify gods and goddesses in nature. Uh, going back to time uh, uh, immemorial, I mean, we're talking about Soma in the Rag Veda, magic mushrooms causing the birth of Hinduism. Uh, well, <clears throat> The stupid ass drug laws of Europe and America uh -huh. ruined Eddie's trip. Simple as that. Mm -hmm. I can relate because I, uh, me too. I mean, rather innocently, I traveled with two kilograms, I'm talking five pounds of uh, ashish from Kandahar, Afghanistan, to the Greek islands in 1968. Somehow, my naivete spared me from a Turkish prison. Well, Eddie wasn't so lucky. Huh? He got ratted on by Danish musicians in a rotten system where cops release busted uh, stoners only if they give up and inform on their friends higher up in the feeding chain above them. Oh, yeah, Eddie had plenty of opportunities to narc in his life. Never did. Huh? So, okay. He spends three months in prison in Copenhagen, deported to London, spends the winter there, part, partners up with Flaky Gazella, unstable 19-year-old lover, <coughs> Danish lover. She's shadowed by the police. He's suspected of using drugs. And, uh, oh, to make matters worse, Eddie gets strung out on speed. Ah! Dark, demonic <coughs> amphetamines make him suicidal, homicidal, paranoid. You know? So he's sneaking around Spain, Portugal, Italy as a fugitive in the shadow of the law. Um, Weaving through all that, he manages to pick up his divorce settlement money from Gwen in a bank in Zurich. <sighs> yeah, at which point, Eddie abandons Europe now, forever, and travels the road to Kathmandu. His second trip uh, overland, first was Kathmandu to Istanbul, now Istanbul to Kathmandu, it is 44 right now, the year is 1966, uh, 5,000 miles, huh? Istanbul to Tehran, <laughs> Tehran to Ezrum, Ezrum to the Irani border, Irani border to Tehran, Tehran to Meshet, Meshet to Herat, 
Oh, Afghanistan at last. Huh? All right, to Kandahar, Kandahar to Kabul. Down to Kabul Pass to Peshawar. Yeah, from Opindi to Lahore. Lahore to Delhi and Delhi to Benares. Ah. Bernard's to Catman do. Mm. <laughs>